Sentinel Written by Black Ice and Flame On Tumblr The two of you were the power couple when it came to pro heroes, always by each other's side during attacks and always able to take down villains in a sitch. This time should have been no different. As Bakugo turned to look at you, he couldn't help but feel an immense sense of pride as he watched you take down one of the villains attacking. It was in that split second of distraction that the villain's partner snuck up behind him. You saw, though, and lunged towards Bakugo. Watch out! Bakugo whirled around, ready to take care of the damned villain, but was shoved out of the way. A huge cloud of dust booming in front of him. Barely letting himself hit the ground, Bakugo rushed over as the dust cloud settled. It felt like he'd taken the hit himself when he saw you laying on the ground. He crouched down next to you eyes tearing up in anger for letting himself get distracted. I'm so stupid! Bakugo mentally screamed at himself over and over. <laughs> that was meant for you, but I guess taking out one of you at a time will do, mocked the villain with a smirk. Makes the fight more fun! The villain lunged at Bakugo before he slowly stood up with his head bowed, and the villain almost stopped short, expecting the hero to lash out instantly. Bakugo blasted himself towards the villain, shouting, You're going to regret this, asshole! He held one of his hands out and produced the biggest blast he could, not caring if it caused pain through his arm. Once he was sure the villain was down, Bakugo walked back over to you, falling to his knees in front of you. He lifted you into his lap and gently held your face in his hands. You idiot! Why'd you do that, huh? Bakugo shouted as his eyes teared, paramedics rushing onto the scene. After you had been taken to the hospital, you woke up afterwards. The first thing you felt was a hand gripping strongly onto yours. You looked up to find Bakugo already watching you with his signature scowl on his face. Those eyes of his softened when they met yours. Dumbass. Don't you ever take a hit for me like that again. Bakugo growled between his teeth, though his eyes told a different story. You could tell better than anyone that he was trying to hide his fear, so you just smiled lightly and gave him a nod, squeezing his hand. <laughs> I'll promise not to take another hit if you promise to be more vigilant, you teased. Bakugo's eyes twitched, cueing a round of yelling at you as you just giggled away. Happy to see his hot-headedness back to normal. Todoroki was always aware of you when you ended up in battle together. This time was no different. Todoroki sent a giant wave of ice towards the villain to keep them back from himself and you. You were a good team together, both working in perfect sync. When you saw the villain jump towards Todoroki, you didn't hesitate in jumping between them as the villain's acid attack splashed all over the front of your body. The burning was intense, and it felt like you'd been hit by a blast of fire. It burned through your suit and even left burns all over your face. This caused you to collapse to the ground with your body writhing in pain. Todoroki felt the air leave his lungs, and he lost his usual level-headed self for a second and shot a huge blast of fire towards the villain, causing them to fall over. He was quick to freeze them in place in a block of ice. 
After Todoroki was sure the villain was incapacitated, he rushed over to you. His heart broke when he heard you sobbing and whimpering in pain. Someone! Get help! Over here! Todoroki shouted as he looked back down to you. He gently held your hand in his, afraid to touch your face due to how burnt it was. Help will be here. It's okay. You'll be okay soon. He repeated these phrases just as much to you as he was to himself. Todoroki rubbed his thumb gently over the back of your hand, trying to keep himself together. When you were treated in the hospital and in recovery, Todoroki scolded you right away. Did you know how reckless that was? He asked, pacing back and forth in front of you. You sat up in bed, staring at your hands so they didn't have to look at Todoroki's stern face. I know, Todoroki. I would have been fine. You didn't have to risk your life like that. Todoroki ran his fingers through his hair and finally turned to face you seeing that you weren't even looking at him. He let out a sigh and moved closer to you, sitting down in the chair next to your bed and taking one of your hands in both of his. It's okay, but don't you get why I did it? You asked and chuckled softly as his eyebrows scrunched together, his eyes holding confusion. I did it because I love you, silly. You rolled your eyes, knowing it should have been obvious. I couldn't bear to see you get hurt. But now you're here, and I can't bear to see this. Todoroki reasoned with a frown. You chewed on your lip and glanced away, only looking back when Todoroki squeezed your hand. Why don't we make a promise to each other? Todoroki gave you a gentle smile, rubbing his thumb over your knuckles as he said, I promise to try to not be put in a situation where you have to take a hit like that for me again, if you promise to do the same. Even though the both of you knew that as heroes, they will be put in that situation again eventually, you were both stubborn enough people to try. You smiled tenderly and nodded your head. I promise. Todoroki smiled and leaned in to kiss your lips and cup your face with both of his hands. You winced a little. Um, sorry. It's okay. It was supposed to just be a regular patrol. Midoriya was actually ecstatic to have you with him. You've been together since your UA days, and Midoriya couldn't be happier that your agencies were so close to each other. Huh, it's so slow today. You groaned as you spun around to look behind you, walking backwards. Midoriya chuckled. <laughs> um, shouldn't that be a good thing? You grinned and shrugged your shoulders. You would think, but it just makes me bored. Well, the sooner we patrol the area, the sooner we can probably get off duty. And maybe go on a date? He asked, feeling a flush of heat rise to his little cheeks. You cooed, reaching out your hand to pinch him. Ah. I think it's so cute you get embarrassed about taking me out, Izu. Midoriya turned redder and started stuttering trying to justify his embarrassment when there was an explosion a few feet ahead. Midoriya gave one look to you and the both of you ran towards the site of the smoke. Arriving at the scene, the both of you spotted a villain with what looked to be a gigantification quirk swinging their large hands around, their large hands crushing all that stood in their way. 
I'll get the civilians out of the area. Do what you have to, you cried, and kissed Midoriya's cheek quickly before running off to help the other heroes that showed up. Midoriya ignored the blush in his cheeks and leapt into action, doing his best to keep the villain at bay, while you evacuated the civilians from the area. We got him out! You shouted from above as you stood on the rooftop, overlooking Midoriya and the villain. Good! Midoriya cried before leaping off the ground onto the rooftop with you. Now we just have to take care of this guy! He turned just as the villain threw his giant fist towards him. Midoriya's eyes widened as he readied himself to jump out of the way, but was pushed instead. He watched in horror as you were punched through the air, your body flinging towards the next building, smashing into the wall. Hearing the awful crunch of your body, Midoriya no longer paid attention to the villain and yelled for the other heroes to help while he ran towards you. Midoriya tried to keep himself from crying, but couldn't help the tears as they poured down his face. He picked you up gently and cradled you close before moving to look for paramedics nearby. He rode the whole way with you to the hospital and tried his best to stay with you, even when the doctors told him he had to wait outside. Midoriya paced the waiting room floor for hours, constantly asking the person at the desk if they knew anything about your surgery. He yanked at his hair as his eyes continued to produce constant tears. He eventually called for Ida and Uraraka, who rushed to help comfort their friend. All Might showed up as well. He knew the hero would be beating himself up about your injuries. As soon as the doors flung open and a doctor walked out towards the waiting room, Midoriya jumped up and ran towards them, wiping his eyes. Are they okay? What happened? The doctor told him to take a few deep breaths before hearing what he had to say. Midoriya did as he was told, but the action didn't really bring him any comfort. They suffered from a lot of shattered bones on their, both sides of their body. Um, thankfully, we were able to set them, but their head injury concerns us more. They're in a coma right now. We hope this helps the swelling in their brain. I'm sorry, explained the doctor with a grim face. Midoriya felt like he was gone from his body. The words the doctor spoke weren't comprehending in his mind. He had cried so much over the past few hours, it's as if he couldn't produce any more tears. <laughs> Can I see them? Midoriya flinched at his own hoarse-sounding voice. The doctor nodded, and Midoriya told his friends he'd be back. Following the doctor down the hall, Midoriya could only imagine the worst imagery in his mind. If only I'd been more vigilant. It should have been me to take that hit, not them. When he arrived in your room, the doctor opened the door, and Midoriya felt what was left of his heart shattered. You were laying in bed, cast and bandaged up all over. He instantly went to your side and sat down next to you, resting his hands over your casted arms. Midoriya rested his head on your arms and sniffed, his voice coming out broken and roar as he made his promise known to the world. <laughs> I won't ever let you take another hit for me again. I swear it. Midoriya stayed with you overnight. It was during the crack of dawn the next day that you finally woke up. Midoriya had never felt happier in his life, noticing your eyes open. He kept apologizing to you till his voice had given out, even though you told him that it was okay, that you were going to be fine. During the recovery process, Midoriya never left your side, never wanting to break his promise to you. From now and forever. <laughs> <laughs>